In this video, I'm going to talk about how to convert fractions into decimal numbers. Let's start off with an easy example. Let's say I want to convert the fraction 5 tenths to a decimal number. Well, you might already know that 5 tenths is, in fact, 0 0.5, because this right here is the tenths place in our number system. Tenths, meaning I have five tenths. I don't have anything else on whole parts here to left of the decimal place. But let's say you did know that. What would be another way that I could take this fraction and I could convert it into a decimal number? Well, if every fraction has two parts. We have a numerator and we have a denominator. And a fraction is like a division statement. The numerator is on the top, the denominator is on the bottom. This is like saying 5 divided by 10, or the numerator divided by the denominator. We'll write that over here. The numerator divided by the denominator. So my numerator here is 5, my denominator is 10, and what do I get? Well, I get, if I can pull out my calculator here, 5 divided by 10 equals 0 0.5. Let's try this strategy with a different fraction. Let's say I want to convert one third to a decimal number. Well, the numerator here is one, the denominator is three. One divided by three equals, calculator, one divided by three, 0 0.3333333 and it looks like this 3 goes on forever. This is called a repeating decimal. And there's a very special way to write a repeating decimal. I simply write 0 0.3 now I'm going to place a bar up on top of the 3. This is the part that repeats. That means this bar means that that 3 goes on forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Let's try one more example. How about 2 over 7? Now I want to convert 2 7th to a decimal number. So using my strategy, I'm going to take 2 divided by 7. I plug that into the calculator. 2 divided by 7 equals 0 0.285714, 285714, So it looks like we have another repeating decimal number here, uh, but the, the repeating part is much, much longer. So let's write this down very carefully. I have... 0 0.2, I've already forgotten what we have here, 857148, and that looks like that is the part that repeats, so let's just confirm it, 285714, it's always a good idea to really double check your answers on your calculator, 285714, that's right, okay, and this is the part that repeats, so I need to put this bar over top of the whole part that repeats that part. And that is how you convert fractions into decimal numbers.